What's up, Prime Fam? What's going on, guys? I got some pause tempo high bar squats, completely raw, so no belt, no knee sleeves, nothing. Basically, as hard as you can get it on a squat, minus maybe doing a front squat position. Um, so I had a max single for the day, no back off volume. This is following the pause squat workout that I posted in the video last on my channel. So that 584 pound pause squat PR and all the uh, back off volume I did was literally the day before this day. I am squatting four times a week, and that's actually what I want to talk about in today's video is how to really maximize your results in strength and hypertrophy, look the best you can look, and get strong on everything. I don't just mean get strong in your comp squat or your super max arch bench press. I mean just be strong by any standard, whether it's you know these completely raw pause tempo high bar squats, or whether it's a front squat, or whether it's lunges even. Like, like literally get strong on everything, because that's something I like to pride myself on. I like to be strong on any given day. We're gonna talk about some of the methodology behind that and kind of um, just some general General thought process this is not a, an exact how-to video, but some thoughts on what my training has evolved like over the last, you know, three, four months that you've been following along on this power building journey. So um, here's my max squat for the day, 485 pounds, pretty good for a tempo pause high bar, uh, completely raw squat. The day after I PR'd my back squat with a ton of volume, uh, so I was really happy with that. And then I had some deadlifts later on in this workout. Kristen was also doing some bench press here, which you'll see. And then we finished up with some upper body accessory work. Now, if you followed me through the last few months of this power building routine, you'll notice my routine started pretty straightforward at the beginning of it. I had an upper lower split with a weak point day, so it was four days a week was an upper or lower workout so it's two upper workouts two lower body workouts and then one weak point day which I devoted towards my arms because I wanted to really bring up my arms which I actually did really well my arms are bigger than they've ever been I was really happy with the results now as I transitioned into the powerlifting phase because that was more my hypertrophy phase I've gotten more comp specific and more full body based so I, I went from squatting twice a week to now three times a week and then eventually four times a week, which is where I'm at now. And I slowly transitioned to that over the training cycle. Uh, same thing with my bench press. I up my frequency. I'm at three times a week on bench and I would actually do more if I could, but I'm not trusting my pecs and shoulders enough. I've had a lot of problems there in the past, but I slowly transitioned myself to a higher frequency, uh, more specific bench style for powerlifting training. And the same thing with the deadlift. So I've essentially moved from more of like an upper lower body part type split to a full body DUP strength split, which is really catering um, my results towards strength right now because I'm trying to you know beat my best one RMs on the squat, the bench press, and the deadlift. And so far it looks like I'm gonna do that. Technically, I've already actually beat in my best bench press uh, by one pound, but we're gonna beat it by a lot more here in a few weeks. And that's kind of the goal. Now, the, the trick to maximizing your results is one, learning your individual body and how you respond. And this is something that you really honestly either need to hire a coach for, which we can help you out at Prime if you're interested in that. Uh, our website is now live, but I still need to work on that. That's always in the description box. But even if you can't afford a coach, um, I would really look into learning more about programming. And especially, in my opinion, I think DUP is the best form. That's a very broad term, but the way I like DUP is setting it up in a periodization scheme that really allows you to maximize your results with um, what your goals are. So I blend my training throughout a training cycle in the training year to match my results. Earlier on, I was doing a upper lower split with some body part work for my weak point, really aimed at hypertrophy and a ton of volume accumulation on the body parts. Now I'm more focused on strength volume accumulation. So getting a ton of work and volume in, in strength zone. So I'm squatting four times a week on each of those days as a max single. And I have some heavier kind of back off volume work that I do. But keep in mind that I had to transition to that. I can't just jump from an upper lower split into squatting four times a week super heavy. You have to slowly transition and add that in over a cycle and you have to know what you're doing to achieve that. And then I did the same thing with the bench press and the deadlift. Now what you'll see after this power building routine is done is I'm gonna go full on uh, bro, cut for the beach kind of bodybuilder. I'm hoping COVID's not gonna ruin my summer because if, if it does, I'm gonna be the most shredded jack version of myself sitting at home with my girlfriend probably doing absolutely nothing. At least my girlfriend will get to see it. Hopefully she'll appreciate it. But if we're locked in, uh, I don't care. I'm gonna really get in the best shape of my life here coming this summer and I'm gonna focus more on aesthetics 
and kind of some other goals besides like just powerlifting. Like I really want to just get back into an extremely good shape. I want to get super lean again. And again, I want to try to put on as much muscle onto my frame. And you're going to see my training style shift away from this really specific style that I'm doing now. And I'm going to kind of take you through that. Now, a lot of people want me to put out a video where I'm like, here's my exact training routine. And the reason I don't want to do that is not because I'm afraid of giving away my secrets. It's actually the total opposite. It's what works for me will not work for you. The way I transition into this will not work for you. Even if you did everything the exact way I did it, it, you might get lucky and it works a little bit, or you might get unlucky and your genetics are just not made up for this and you get injured, or your genetics are better than mine and you actually need even more volume to respond to than what I'm doing and you just get kind of subpar results. There's no way of knowing and I cannot break that down unless I did like a fucking 10 hour dissertation on all this on how to program and how to periodize. So there, there isn't a way for me to put out that video, but what I want to stress to the viewer at home is that you guys get a little bit more thoughtful about your programming. I, I'm seeing this trend of simplicity in YouTube. You know, just do your upper lower splits, just do uh, the full body training, or, or oh, science says to do this or to do that. And they give you these really like pretty wrapped up present answers, you know, where it's like, here's your present, here's your answer to your goals, this is how you're gonna get there. It's super easy, digest this eight minute quick YouTube video or buy my program and it's gonna solve all your problems. It's really not that simple. You have to be a little bit more creative than that. Once you're past a certain level, now I'm not saying everyone has to go squat four times a week, that's not what I'm saying. A lot of people can maximize the results on the upper lower split. And in fact, if your goals aren't, your, aren't my goals and you aren't in my body, you may never need to squat four times a week, okay? So that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that what I'm doing is for everyone. What I'm saying is you need to think about these things and really prioritize your training in a more intelligent way around your results. So I hope this kind of more open-ended video gives you guys a little bit more insight and thoughtfulness into my training. Uh, my girlfriend is making me flex after here for the camera. I wasn't prepared, so the flexing's pretty bad. Um, but yeah, guys, I just want to do a quick update. Had the squats, had the deadlift, had some upper body accessory work. I left a lot of the clips out, so this wasn't exactly the full workout, but I want to keep you guys updated, keep showing you guys some training footage. Um, like the video, comment below. It really helps out when you guys comment. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.